Back to the show, everybody. Future Father here once again. All right, so day four, I think, or three, I'm not sure. But um, replacing the spark plugs didn't work, as you saw. So now I am replacing the fuel filter, and I stripped the bolt on that. So I went to O'Reilly's and I got a fuel line replacement kit that I will change once I'm done changing the fuel pump because that's what it seems. Hopefully it is what is wrong. Uh, right now I am draining, siphoning off, siphoning out the fuel. When my car took a dump, or when the truck took a dump, I literally had just filled it up to full. And so now I have to do this step. But after that, then I can drop the fuel tank and then la -ti -da -ti -da. So I've watched a few tutorials on how to change the pump. I'm probably gonna watch them over again before I actually do it. But uh, hey, you know what? I will say when I was first moving here, I wanted to learn how to work on cars, work on vehicles. And what better way to do it than to actually have a truck of your own to work on. Man, it's a great thing. Um, yeah, so here I am. I think yesterday I took like four trips to the auto stores. And then this morning I took another one. Um, I'm borrowing a friend's um, Jack. So that's where I'm at. Siphoning off, siphoning out the gas so I can take out the tank so I can replace the pump and then replace the fuel filter. All right, stay tuned. And check this out. Oh, got the new fuel pump on, connected, bag. I had to go back to the store to get a bag because the bag doesn't come with the kit. How dumb is that? But it also allowed me to get, um, so I have, I got a fuel line repair kit because I stripped the bolt and I have to bend it. So it allowed me to get a bender. The cool thing about the auto parts stores now, the auto parts stores now, is that they have tools for rent. And if you bring it back, you get your money back. So I didn't have to spend anything on a pipe bender basically. So anyways, uh, old fuel filter new fuel filter i already kind of dipped it in but i forgot i wanted to show this oh look at that you know what this is a sign of this oh there you go this is a sign of me learning things now i'm pretty good at taking things apart however putting it all back mm, i got screws here i got screws in that pan i got screws in here and then there's like clips where all the wires go i gotta put the wires back in through like where it was routed in these things i gotta put back it's gonna be a different job putting this back up underneath so you got the jack it's jacking up the truck right now actually because i had to lift it up off the ground in order to get this thing out the fuel tank okay everybody um well the uh tank is back in Filters on. Now I saw in another video that you have to turn maybe a couple times. All right, this is the uh, my first attempt to um, start her up. Son of a! Oh, oh! Feels like it's almost. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a lot of fluid. Hey, at least the pump's working. All right. Well, where I um, patched up the. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably put something underneath that. 
All right, so I stripped, remember I stripped the bolt on the old filter, so I had to buy a fuel line repair kit, and where I made the repair, that's probably the weak point. I'm guessing it's definitely the weak point, because um, it was actually harder to put that on than anything else, believe it or not, just that little thing, and it's the thing that's not working. But the pump is working now. How cool is that? I had to buy these little compression fittings because this one, or the first time I put it on, failed on me. So I ended up buying like a two pack of these things. It's the whole setting or it's the whole fitting because they don't sell, they sold a pack of these, but like in different sizes. And there's only one of each. And I figured if I make a mistake, at least for like 90 cents more, I can get four of them. Plus the uh, the whole fitting, just in case if everything fails. All right, here we go. Not sure. She sounds like she wants to start, but it's not kicking over completely. so ugly. Oh, and there's smoke coming out the back of the truck.